What is up, Ludi Bros Army? It's your boy, Big Bro Lamar Ludi, sitting down to go over a couple of deck profiles once again for One Piece Buddy Battles. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell on. I'm going to keep bringing this type of content to you guys, uh, especially when it comes to Buddy Battles. So my partner and I, we've won three in a row now of these Buddy Battles at Hidden Fortress in Simi Valley, California. And we're running the same two leaders. We're running Rob Lucci and we're still mixing it with Zoro. So as you can see, I've got the deck uh, laid out for you again. I only made a couple of small changes. I added in two Sabos. I took out uh, a Kumidori and I took out two Isho, the eight drop. Um, in buddy battles, you just don't get there. You really don't get to those big, uh, big numbers. And it's never really efficient, it seems, to play those types of cards out, at least in the battles that we've had. So I felt that it would be better to just come with a little bit more defense. Sabo is really good. He's going to protect your cards from being popped. Buddy Battles is different. It's just different from 1v1s. So you're going to want to make sure that your decks complement each other. And I feel like with the aggression that we have going from Zoro and then the defense and the bigger bodies in the later game, as far as Buddy Battles goes from Rob Lucci, it, it really has a nice um, tag team effect on our opponents. So uh, the effect for Rob Lucci came in handy. Um, I was able to really put some pressure in one game and then my partner closed it out. He was able to close it out with uh, a lot of his smaller attackers. And I think that's one of the main aspects for buddy battles, which we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the Zoro deck profile in a second. I think that's one of the main aspects with um, this strategy behind buddy battles is you wanna have uh, be able to really control your opponent's field and just keep swinging at their leader relentlessly because life is only, uh, everybody's running around with two or three life uh, in this in this format. So if you can be really aggressive with their leaders right off the bat and not have to worry about their field, then that's gonna make things a lot easier for you in the end. So as we can see here, my partner's still running uh, Zoro. Um, there's only one ch card different from the previous video that I posted. Uh, he took out one of the Rush Luffy's in place of the one of Marco, um, which actually, I don't even think it really came up last night, but I, one thing we like about his particular build is that it's just gas. There's bodies that he can play every turn. He's always got combo power in hand. Um, it may seem interesting that he's not running any events, but like I said, you have to remember, this is just different. It's just different from 1v1s. You'll have your partner uh, able to protect you. And the way that we've got our tag team going here, um, I can do a lot of the protecting. I'm running a lot of blockers in my build. So that enables him to just focus completely on aggression. And even if he has his field wiped, um, because this is Zoro with a lot of little one drop uh, bodies, he's just able to completely rebuild a board, which happened last night. Uh, he got wiped and then he was able to curly into Nami, into a uh, Rush Luffy and just continued putting the pressure. He didn't miss a beat. So we're really happy with how this has turned out. That's three in a row. Uh, we've been able to win three in a row so far. And we're going to probably just keep on rolling. I'm a firm believer that when you win something, don't change it. Let's just keep going with it. And we've had minimal changes. Um, I think only a total of four cards changed from our first buddy battle. Uh, I didn't get a chance to post our video for our second win. We did make some substantial changes to our deck. I am, and I think that that was a problem. We kind of got away from what we were doing. We tried to get a little too cute and put in some bigger bodies and a few more events and stuff like that. And we still won, but um, we talked about it and we decided to come back to this easier streamlined format and um, it was pretty successful. All right, well, thank you guys for tuning into this video. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think and I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching the video.